Hello and welcome to a measurement video. In this video we're going to have a look at percentage error. When we measure something we have a sort of a margin for error that we have to take into account and uh, one way of expressing this margin for error is as a percentage. So percentage error is calculated by having the absolute error, and we'll explain that term in a minute, uh, putting that over the original measurement, the main measurement that we use, and we'll turn that fraction that we've created by that absolute error over the measurement uh, into a percentage by multiplying by 100%. Just any time we want to use uh, a fraction to turn into a percent, we multiply by 100. So that's our rule, percentage error, absolute error over the actual measurement times by 100%. Now the absolute error we're talking about here that goes on the top of our fraction is uh, an accuracy equal to plus or minus half of the smallest unit marked on the scale that we're measuring. So uh, we use a measuring device to measure things and so we have a look at that device and we figure out um, what the smallest unit uh, marked on the measuring scale uh, is. So let's have a look. Find the percentage error this question asks as an example of a fence uh, which is measured as 17 meters. So the absolute error will be plus or minus half a meter. Uh, we're measuring in meters here, uh, 17 meters, and I'll explain why uh, we don't just necessarily take notice of the meters there, um, but we have a look at what um, place value the units um, number it has there. So percentage error equals absolute error over the actual measurement. So our absolute error was plus or minus half of the units we're measuring in, and in this case it's meters, so plus or minus 0 0.5 is our absolute error that goes on top. Uh, over the actual measurement, now actual measurement uh, as expressed in the question was 17 meters, so that goes on there. Well, we've created a fraction here. We'll turn that into a percent by timesing by 100 on our calculator. And that works out to be a percentage error of plus or minus 2.94%. It's really like a margin for error that we're acknowledging. Um, we have to build in an acknowledgement of a margin for error any time we measure anything, really. And, but this is the system we use to figure out the percentage of that margin for error that we're thinking about. So that's percentage error on the measurement of a fence uh, if it's measured at 17 metres, plus or minus half of the units we're measuring in, and uh, we create that fraction, then turn it into a percent there. Plus or minus 2.94% is our percentage error under those circumstances. Let's have a look at a different example now. Find the percentage error is a, uh, of a parcel weighed as 6.3 kilograms. Now, it looks like we're measuring in kilograms. However, if you have a look at it, they've expressed uh, a 0.3 of a kilogram. So it's really like we're measuring in uh, one-tenth of a kilogram in this situation. So we'll uh, express that. We're actually measuring in 0.1 lots of a kilogram, not whole kilograms, because we're quoting that 0.3 there. So if we're measuring in 0.1 lots of kilograms, that's our smallest uh, unit, our absolute error will be half of that. Now you'll notice, I'll just get my pen up here, you'll notice that um, we take a, a fair bit of um, notice of that fact that we're measuring in uh, a decimal point there. And so that we're measuring in 0.1 lots of kilograms. And notice that we've gone to the next unit over. That place value there is in hundredths of a kilogram, not tenths. So whatever we're measuring in, we go to one, one step to the right and we put a five there. It's like a system we can use for figuring out our absolute error there. All right, well, so we put a five in that next column to the right of whatever we're measuring in. So in, we were measuring in 0.1 lots of kilograms. We go uh, the next digit over and put a 5 there. That's why the 5 appeared in that hundredths column. So the absolute error is uh, 0 point, plus or minus 0 0.05 kilograms. That's over the measurement itself, which from, from the question was 6.3 kilograms. And we've uh, created a fraction there to turn that into a percent. We're timesing by 100. And we type all that into our calculator. And we've got a percentage error of plus or minus 0.79 percent. 
So that's just a margin for error that we'll acknowledge is built into a measurement of that parcel um, expressed as uh, a weight of 6.3 kilograms. So the system's pretty much the same as before, although um, in the first example we were measuring in uh, meters, I think it was, um, whole meters, but here we've, uh, because that 0.3 is there, we're actually effectively measuring in uh, tenths of a kilogram, so that affected our calculation of the absolute error. Okay, now this is an interesting variation here. We f This one asks us to find the percentage error of a length of uh, 4,000 millimeters, but the question uh, expresses this as 4,000 millimeters uh, rounded to the nearest 100 millimeters. Now, when that occurs, we have to uh, treat the uh, rounding of the nearest 100 millimeters as if that's what we're measuring in. The units we're actually effectively measuring in are 100 millimeters at a time. It's almost like we could imagine this uh, being, okay, 3,900 might be one measurement. 4,000 might be another measurement. The next one that's possible is 4,100 or 4,200. And can you see that we're expressing these uh, in whole lots of 100 millimeters at a time? So we're effectively measuring in chunks of 100 millimeters. So that's kind of like the smallest unit we're measuring in. So plus or minus half of that is going to be our absolute error, 50 millimeters in this case. Um, and so we just uh, run those numbers through our percentage error format here, absolute error on top, which is half of what we, uh, we're measuring in, and uh, have the measure measurement itself on the bottom, turning that into a percent by multiplying by 100, and we have uh, that as uh, plus or minus 1.25% as our percentage error. So that's a bit different there. It looks like we're measuring in millimetres, but because they said we're rounding it to the nearest 100 millimetres, we're effectively actually measuring in lots of 100 millimetres. And that uh, meant that our absolute error is plus or minus half of that 100 millimetres. That's how we got our 50 millimetres there. Bit different. Okay, so to recap here, the percentage error is the absolute error on top over the measurement itself multiplied by 100 to turn it into a percent. So the absolute error definition was uh, an accuracy equal to plus or minus half of the smallest unit marked on the scale of, scale of the measuring device and we saw in that last example um, that smallest unit can be the uh, amount that we're rounding each, uh, each measurement as well. Hope that helps. Have a look at the video again if you're not sure and thanks for listening. See you next time. And of course PeterBlakeMaths.com